Good morning. Welcome back to the bright side here on 10 Tampa Bay. We are your hurricane headquarters and I'm meteorologist Amanda Pappas. Let's break down the tropics for you real quick. We got two different hurricanes out there in the Atlantic. Now, are they going to be problems for us? No, we are all in the clear. No immediate threat for the state of Florida. Let's get that out there first. We got Hurricane Margo, fish storm, going to continue to twirl out there and just do its thing, meandering out in the Atlantic. It's going to continue to weaken. Then we got Invest 97L. That's the next big thing that I'm going to keep my eye on here in the weather center. Now, no threat in the the earliest models are showing us it's going to do something similar to Lee and curve back out and away from the state of Florida. So that's good news. And last but certainly not least is Hurricane Lee, a Category 2 already weakening. And our latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center at 5 a.m. showing us it's moving northward at about 9 miles per hour. However, it is bringing high surf and rip currents as well all up and down the east coast from the Carolinas, Georgia, and all the way up into New England heading into this weekend as well. You can see the National Hurricane Center forecasting the system to continue to push closer towards Maine and make landfall somewhere in Canada or potentially could shift a little more closer to Maine and also New England. So that would mean, of course, if it had more of that westward shift in the track, more impacts could be felt from anywhere from Long Island all the way to Maine and portions of Canada. So hopefully for these people, it'll continue to shift a little more east. However, either way, they're going to be feeling impacts far outside of the cone. So that's something to think about. But here's a piece of good news. This system's got to battle a lot of wind shear up ahead of it, but we'll have all the latest in terms of what they can expect and your local forecast all in the next couple of minutes.